What it is guys, it's your Dino. We're back at it again with another review. So let's just get straight into it. This is coming from a franchise that is near and dear to my heart. As you guys know, big Final Fantasy fan. This one is Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. Now, it's been reviewed so far on the PlayStation 5. But this is my review. And this is coming off of the, the Series X. So it runs completely different to the PlayStation 5 version. It actually runs well. Whereas the PlayStation 5 version has nothing but issues from what I have been told by my friends who also have the PlayStation 5 version. And basically, it's been re reviewed at a 72 on the Metacritic and a 3 out of 5 by Eurogamer. And it is a game that isn't like normal Final Fantasy games. So it is a single player slash multiplayer game that is an action role play game. And it is made by Team Ninja with Koei Techno and published by Square Enix. The director is Daisuke Inoue, Hiroya Yusuda, and Nobumichi Kumabe, or Kunabe. I probably butchered that. But basically, the best way to describe this game is best played with multiplayer. It is all about playing with your friends. And when you do that, it's a great game. Playing single player, not the best. But this is a game where you will prefer to play it with your friends. Play it online, play it with public multiplayer or do private matches where you can go through the campaign and do the campaign together with your friends. Do the side quest, do the main campaign. It's 100% better played that way. I'm gonna say that right now. This game shouldn't be played single player you'll find it a little bit monotonous but you can still have fun with it it is basically the best way to describe this game would be a final fantasy dark souls inspired action adventure game and it's you can see where the inspiration for the dark souls is in the the fact that the combos and the rhythm of the combat it requires you to be aware of parrying and dodging and countering whereas most Final Fantasy games are all like action turn based kind of thing and this is not and it's really really good because it's something different because people will complain either way you're going to have one group of people that will say this game is an absolute dumpster fire and it is not a Final Fantasy you'll have other people saying it's a great Final Fantasy game and it takes in a new direction and so on and so forth you've got to go into it with no expectations it's a great game koei techno and team ninja have taken the original story and they have told it in a new way now people will say this is a fanboy opinion it's not if a game is bad i'll say it's bad if i think it's good i'll say it's good I am a, a Final Fantasy fan, die hard, through and through. But whenever I play a new game, I always go into it with no expectations. I went into this expecting nothing. I wanted to experience what this game had to offer and let it tell me its story. Now I have about almost 20 hours into the game and I'm close to getting towards the end of the game on my main play. Where I'm playing it for myself. I've almost got to the end of the game playing it on that mode. I've got easily, I'd say about 60 hours into that. But this one that you're seeing here is the one I've been doing on stream with my community. And we have about 12 hours, 20, 20 to 12 hours in there. It's a lot of fun. We're really enjoying it. And the job system, the character development that you can create and the different play styles you can come up with is, is great. The weapons are cool. The, the designs for the different weapons are a bit repetitive, but it's very hard to create something unique within a world where swords are swords and axes are axes, unless you look at, make it look completely unfeasible and it's one of those they have to walk a fine line and they've done a really good job of it the weapons look realistic enough that they would be conceivable within 
the Final Fantasy world and they don't seem laughably too cartoony or unrealistic within the, the universe that they're set in. The game handles very well. They've got some really cool mechanics in there. And yes, this isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea. If you don't like Dark Souls-esque gameplay, probably you will struggle with it because it can be quite tough. The game will put you on your bottom a couple of times when you're playing through if you don't pay attention to what you're doing. But it's a really, really good game and I feel that they have done a very good job. And I feel that the negative reviews that the game is getting is completely stupid i'm sorry if you have this this conception that this game is supposed to be world changing and supposed to change and redefine the, the genre no just get over yourself it is a very solid game they've done an amazing job with it it plays well it's smooth it doesn't have any bugs on the Series X version, although apparently from what I've been told by my my fellow content creators who play this on the PlayStation 5 version, they've had a lot of crashes and they've had a lot of bugs, but apparently they will be patched out soon. But the game handles great. I'm playing it in performance mode. If you have a 4K TV, do not turn on the games built in HDR if you have your own HDR on, on your TV because it becomes oversaturated and it looks real bad. So decide whether you're going to have HDR on your TV or have HDR on, on the game because your HDR on your TV will do the job of the, in, the built-in HDR for the game. This is it running with the HDR on, on game mode on my Samsung TV and it looks amazing can't fault it. it it's beautiful running in hdr 10 it's really really nicely done i've got a 4k tv so the console is running it at 4k but i recalled at 4k 30 instead of 4k 60 because there aren't any capture cards out there that can record at a full hdr 10 at 4k 60 at the moment as far as i'm aware i've run a an ava media 4k ultra never failed me their, their capture cards are great i always recommend them to people i've sold lots of them now and i'm not even partnered with them <laughs> i'd love to partner with them that's just a personal thing i think they've done a really good job with this game i feel that they have got solid baseline and there's a season pass for the game as well which is adding in additional story which when that comes out that'll be great to play and review for you guys so overall this is my opinion again i'm not paid to say this even though i am a square enix partner influencer whatever you want to call it i i've i bought this game with my own money and i feel that yes there are some shortcomings with every game you can't please everyone but my opinion is that this game is absolutely stonking they've done a great job of it it's something outside of the normal final fantasy genre that you expect and it's a lot of fun, especially playing it with your friends. If you have any, play it with them that have the game because I've been playing it with my community and my friends and we've been having a lot of fun with it. I don't know about the, the public mode. I haven't done that yet because I've always had someone to play with, but it, it handles really well. The online doesn't have an issue for me and it's great if you've had any difference of opinion or different experiences please sound off in the comments i'd love to know what you think about it if this review has helped you make up your mind on getting the game or not let me know love to hear your opinions guys because you guys are awesome thank you for supporting the channel thank you for checking out the video and thank you for dropping by on the lives and everything as always guys thanks for watching the video catch you in the next one be safe and have fun gaming guys bye